ash trees uh, are native uh, here in Quebec. There are about 20% of ash trees in the forest. So we really, uh, the emerald ash borer came and eat all those, uh, those, uh, those trees. So we need to identify them to make sure that the, the path, all the user will be secure in uh, different uh, pack nets. Sir. So that's why we uh, mark the tree with a, a red line there to make sure that the, 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 the company that will come here will cut that tree and not some good species, let's say like a maple or anything. As we cut trees down, of course, we're trying not to leave those open space. So we're gonna replant some trees. A lot of, even if there's a lot of, a lot of ash trees, there are a lot of different species near them. So we're gonna try to get those native species, you know, to, to, to uprise and to take the place of the ash trees. But some, the density of the ash, it's so, high that we need to replant and usually if we cut down an ash we're going to plant uh, another tree right there right right near them to really replace one for one you see those those larva that's really the larva who's eating the wood and as we can just take it out that's really sawdust and it's the larva who's just eating his way right down and when it's going to have a a nice, a nice link, a nice, let's say, a lot of uh, energy in it. It will go into the the, uh, the ash wood and stay there for all winter. Make sure that, of course, next spring, while the the adult will fly out and redo the, the life circle. So that's really the process of taking weak trees or eventually dead trees out of the way to uh, secure the, the place.